That's not best today in 200, 400. Uh, you were pretty good. Yeah. 50.50. Which is close yeah. to like your personal best, which you yeah. also set this year. You know, how's the meet been for you? Uh, it was a really fun meet. I was really excited to come over here. And the meet director was really accommodating. And he's really good. It was a great atmosphere. It was my first time in Memphis. And I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Great. You have been running for the last 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> That is so much consistency and after 15 years you are still even doing like so much more than you have ever done for yeah. yourself, you know. British champion in yes. the in the 400, you know, sister to, yeah, for y'all who don't know, she's, she, <laughs> our sister is Christine, pronounce her name? Ohorogi. Okay, I, I need to take classes on that right now. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, is she your older sister, I believe? She's older sister, by yeah. nine years, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, so <laughs> what kind of motivation was that for you? And would you say she made you do the 400 as well? Um, I think so. I started running, I didn't start running because of her, but she's definitely helped with my career. And she's, I've been very lucky to be so close to someone who basically achieved everything in the sport. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I've had such a great insight yeah, before becoming a professional athlete into what it looked like yeah. Um, and yeah she's really helped shape my journey as an athlete my journey is like it's been kind of up and down but mm -hmm. I feel like the last few years I've really found my feet um, and yeah the journey continues and it's going okay <laughs> right I mean you're 30 now and then yeah. you're still like I wouldn't say you've achieved like your peak you're still you're still picking you know yeah. if you say that or do you think you can't break the 50 seconds no i feel like my best is still ahead of me i feel like right. in the track world you know when people get to 30 it's like people are almost it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you've got like a people treat you like you're a pension <laughs> to me like but you know i think if you keep your body in good nick you right keep, you know if you keep yourself in, in good shape what there should not be a limit on your age i mean like I've been running for a long time and it's only now I'm really finding my feet and I've got into a really solid training block and everything now so yeah I feel like my best years are still ahead of me. Right. Yeah. So talk us through your season you know like what do you think you had done differently than other years you know that has helped you? Yeah, so I've had like more of a tailored approach for like a lot of the years I was running before my city's running it's kind of has changed uh, my program is kind of based off my sister's kind of program and you know after looking at it for years ago just tried to tailor a bit more to me roughly. and just being more specific with everything I do change my diet around just come, become a lot more um, disciplined I right. would say disciplined and stuff like that so yeah really seeing the yeah, do you have other siblings you know who do track or it's just um, just me and my sister. I have six brothers, but none of them are track. Ooh, six brothers? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Any in the football or so soccer? Like so my older Europe? brother was a semi-pro footballer yes. a few years, right. years back. And they all kind of do fitness stuff, but mm -hmm. no nothing, nothing professional. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, what's next for you from here? Um, so we have the world champs in Budapest, mm -hmm. which will leave very soon. Right. And I'll be doing the 400 in together and the 4x4 four four relay there. Which we are medalists uh, last yeah, year. Yeah, so we are bronze medalists and hopefully, yeah, we want to build on that. We have a really strong solid team of girls so right. I'm, I'm quite excited what we can do all the best with it cool thank you very much yeah.